Okay, friends, before going to the start, the chapter of work energy, let's remind some instructions which are given to us to keep us safe and healthy. Like we should wash our hand for about 20 seconds uh, before touching your face, before eating something or before preparing your food or uh, you should use hand sanitizer which should have 60% uh, of alcohol and avoid to touch your face, your nose, your mouth with unwashed hand and stay at least 6 feet uh, away from the other persons and cover your mouth with the uh, mouth and nose with the mask. After this section, let's start the chapter of work energy. We have studied the, uh, what, is the what is the work and the different forms of energy. Now let's start with the one form of energy that is the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. You know what is the kinetic energy? Uh, the energy possessed by a moving body is called the kinetic energy. How we know that the moving body has some energy in it? Like the cricket ball. When we hit this cricket ball on a stem. What happened? This stem is uh, is a move, or we can say it uh, it push back. So how this cricket ball able to push back this stem? Because it has some energy in it. You know what is energy? Energy is the form of uh, energy means uh, the ability to do work is called the energy. So this cricket ball has ability to move this stem. It means it has some energy. So what is this energy? This energy is called the kinetic energy. The energy is possessed by a moving body is called the kinetic energy. Like the water, when the water falls on the turbines, what happens? The turbines, the turbines start to move and due to which we can generate the electricity. So what type of energy possessed by this flowing water? It is also has a, it has a kinetic energy in it. So it means all the moving body have energy in it, which is called the kinetic energy. So you can write the definition of the kinetic energy that the energy <coughs> energy of a body due to its motion you know when you are moving you should ha you have also energy that is the kinetic energy of its motion is called kinetic energy okay this is the kinetic energy okay uh, now we are going to uh, express the derivation for the kinetic energy how can we find the kinetic energy for any moving body Suppose this is a body of mass m, okay, and it has um, some velocity in it that is small u, and you apply some force on it. What will happen? Its velocity will going to be changes. Now its velocity going to be changes like now the final velocity is v, and the displacement of this object is s. By applying some force, you have you do some work on this body. And actually, this work is, is stored in the form of energy in this body. So, uh, first we will find the work done on this body. <coughs> uh, for this expression, write the statement like, uh, let a body of mass m is moving with the velocity of, is moving with the velocity of u after applying <coughs> force f applying a force f its velocity its velocity is changes to changes to v in the direction of force it is very important that you have to write the in the direction of force in the direction of force in the direction of force let the distance uh, let the displacement the displacement the displacement of body is s Okay, uh, when you apply some force, the work is done on this object. So we can say the work done, work done, work done on this body that is W is equal to F into S. According to the formula, we know that this uh, work done is equal to 
displacement multiplied with the force applied on it. Now uh, we know that force is equal to m into a according to a Newton second law f into f is equal to m into a into s. Uh, you can write here f is equal to m into a according to the Newton second law. Okay. Now we can use the third equation of motion for finding the value of s. According to the Newton, uh, according to the third equation of motion, v square is equal to u square plus two s. Then we can write like this: two a is equal to v square minus u square. And now a is equal to v square minus u square upon two a. Okay, uh, this is equation one, and we can write it like the equation two. Now we can put the value of s here. Sorry, s, not the a. This is s. We can put this value of s in this equation one. So you can write like the um, by putting the value in equation by putting the value of s in equation one. <coughs> W is equal to m into a into s. Now, what is the value of s? That is v square minus u square upon 2a. A c cancel ho gaya. M v square minus u square upon 2. Uh, this is one of the formula for the work done when we change the velocity of a moving body. If you change the velocity of a moving body, how much work you done? It is W is equal to one upon two m v square minus u square. This is the work done on a uh, body uh, of which we change the velocity. Okay, uh, what will happen if a body start from the rest? It means if a body has an initial velocity of u is equal to zero. If a body start from rest, just imagine if a body start from rest and you have you do some work on it, and this work is stored in the form of energy in this body. when a body start from rest what will happen a body start from the rest it means if you are doing some work on it this work is actually stored in the form of energy in it it means if it will acquire some velocity uh this work done which we have to do to change the velocity to acquire the velocity of this one that is v this work is stored in the form of energy in this body and actually this is the kinetic energy the uh, you can say that the kinetic energy of a body with a certain velocity is equal to the work done on it to acquire the velocity it means uh, you do some work on it to acquire this velocity and this work is actually stored in the form of kinetic energy in this body so uh, you can say here that the kinetic energy of the body is equal to kinetic energy of the body is equal to m v square minus u square upon 2 but what is the important condition here that u should be equal to the zero so if the body start from rest if body start from rest okay don't write here like the kinetic energy it is a work done only Uh, if the body start from rest is that is u is equal to zero, so we can say we can say work done is equal to one upon two m v square minus zero square. Okay, this is a work done on the body when it's when it start from the rest, and this work done is actually stored in the form of kinetic energy. So we can say the kinetic energy of the body is equal to one upon two m v square. This is actually the expression for the kinetic energy. So, if your body have some mass in it and it is moving with some velocity, you can easily find the kinetic energy of that body by finding by using this formula that is one upon two m v square. Uh, now, let's talk about some numericals which is based on this formula of kinetic energy. Uh, you find that kinetic energy is equal to what is that is one upon two m v square. uh now just think what will happen if we if we double the mass of the body how much the kinetic energy will going to be changes suppose a body two bodies are here 
this is body 1 and this is body 2 and its mass is m and its mass is 2m just double and it has some velocity let's the velocity is v and it has also the same velocity let's v so is there any change in the kinetic energy of these two body yeah in any difference in the kinetic energy of these two body they, they have some same velocity in it yes the kinetic energy with the body 1 is equal to 1 upon 2 mv square and what is about the body 2 its kinetic energy is equal to 1 upon 2 into 2 m into v square or aapko 2 yaha le sakte ho to isko aise likh sakte ho 1 upon 2 m v square iska matlab the kinetic energy of the second body is just double that of the, that of the first one because its mass is double it means if we double the mass of the body its kinetic energy will be, is become double and what will happen if we if we have the mass of the body if we have the mass the kinetic energy is also become half and what is about the velocity suppose two bodies are here m and m having the same mass and it is moving with the velocity of v and it is moving with the velocity of 2b you know just double the speed so what is the kinetic energy of this first body it will be 1 upon 2 mv square and for the second body its velocity is uh, sorry its kinetic energy will be 1 upon 2 m 2v square or we can say 1 upon 2 m into 4v square you know, square karenge 2v ka now take the 4 common here 1 upon 2 m v square it means the kinetic energy becomes 4 time if we double the speed of the body its kinetic energy becomes 4 times ok by double the mass of the body the kinetic energy becomes double but by doubling the by if we double the velocity of the body its kinetic energy becomes 4 times same as if we have the velocity of the body its kinetic energy becomes 1 4 time uh, now some numericals here first one first numerical calculate the kinetic energy calculate kinetic energy of body of mass 2 kg moving with velocity of moving with what I bed and writing I have uh, I am just trying to improve my handwriting velocity of 0. 1 meter per second okay now you have to find the kinetic energy you know the formula for the kinetic energy yes we have derived this formula that is 1 upon 2 mv square so by using this formula you can easily find the kinetic energy of the body that is 1 upon 2 into m m is how much that is 2 kg oh first you have to write what is uh, what are the values which are given to us like m is equal to 2 kg and velocity is equal to 0 0.1 meter per second so 1 upon 2 into mass is 2 and velocity is 0 0.1 square okay cancel it will be 0 0.01 joule this is the si unit of kinetic energy not only the kinetic energy all the energy has the si unit of joule one more numerical very easy numericals you know second two bodies of equal mass okay two bodies of equal mass moves with velocity of okay they have the same mass but have the different velocity velocity of v and 3v you know both the object have the same mass but the velocity of one object is three times the other v and 3v find the ratio of pair kinetic energy find the ratio of their kinetic energy okay how will you find the ratio first write for the first body this is i am writing for the first body and this is for the second body we are preparing a column you know it is becomes it becomes easy for us to uh, 
to do such type of numericals by by making a column for the first body mass is equal to m m1 and the mass m2 is equal to m also for the first body velocity v1 is equal to v and the first for the second body velocity v2 is equal to 3v now the kinetic energy of the first body is equal to 1 upon 2 m v square and the kinetic energy for the second body is equal to 1 upon 2 m into 3v square or we can say okay sorry uh, 1 upon 2 m into 9v square na? this ka square kar diya. Uh, now you have to find the ratio of these kinetic energy so we can write like this kinetic energy 1 upon kinetic energy 2 this is called the ratio 1 upon 2 m v square upon 1 upon 2 m 9 v square cancel and we find 1 upon 9 or we can say 1 ratio 9 it means if if we if we uh, change the velocity three times it means its kinetic energy will becomes nine times okay one more numerical one more question numerical third how much work should be done first you have we have to write the numerical how much work what do you have to find work done w should should be done should be done on a bicycle on a bicycle of mass 20 kg to increase its speed <coughs> from <coughs> from 2 meter per second to 5 meter per second if we are changing the speed of the body we have to do some work on it so how can you find the work done if we change the velocity of the body uh, according to this one we derive the formula for the work done here w is equal to m v square minus u square okay this is the formula for the work done if we change the speed of the body so we can use this formula here Uh, first we have to write what are what is given in the question that is mass is equal to 20 kg speed this from this it means the initial velocity is 2 meter per second and the final is equal to 5 meter per second uh, in these type of questions we actually use the u and v which are which we represent the velocity which represent the velocity of the body and here in this question it is writing the speed actually in these type of questions this is the same similar things so for for finding the work done we know according to the formula work done is equal to m v square minus u square 1 upon 2 m m is how much 20 kg and what is was the v1 sorry v v is 5 square minus 2 square so 1 upon 2 uh, you can cancel it by 10 by 2 that is 10 into 5 square 25 minus 2 to the 4 that is 10 into 21 210 joule this is the si unit of work done uh, these are simple simple numericals uh, of uh, kinetic energy and this is the expression for the kinetic energy or if i to if i, I if i ask you write about the kinetic energy then don't write only this definition of kinetic energy you have to write this definition with this all derivation okay this is all the expression for the kinetic energy if someone asks you for the kinetic energy you have to write all this one up to here kinetic energy equal to 1 upon 2 m v square okay these are some some simple numericals i think you should understand what are these numericals if you have some problem in the numerical portion you can ask me on your whatsapp group okay bye